Hello and welcome to the options process for the current year nines. I'm going to be talking about the GCSE Art and Design three-dimensional design course that we offer through AQA. It's presented by me, Ms. Hill. If you have any questions, please email at hill at wyvernacademy.org. What is three-dimensional design and what will I do? With the three-dimensional design course being an art and design course, it's very similar in the way that it runs apart from the fact that your final piece will be of a 3D outcome. This would include a prototype of a new product, or it could also include a model of a new building that you've designed, depending on what topic that we are doing. How will I be assessed? You will be assessed over two components, the first one being your portfolio. This is worth 60% of your GCSE. It will be based around one topic that is given to you and you will be undertaking the work that is needed to hit all four assessment objectives, which I will talk about a little bit further on. Your second component is your externally set assignment. You are given starting points from AQA, which you will choose from, and this is worth 40% of your GCSEs. You will still be hitting all four assessment objectives, but you will conclude with a 10 hour exam over two days. On this page, there are a few examples of what the different types of topics you could be working on are. So it could be architecture, sculpture, ceramics, jewellery and body adornment. It could be 3D design, designs for theatre or film sets. The skills that you'll be developing are your model making, your construction, your assembling, but also the traditional art and design skills as well. Your assessment objectives are broken into four different ones. So your first one is AO1, which is the development and investigation section. So this one, you will look at different artists or designers and start to investigate how they work, which materials they use. And you will also start to investigation through your own recreations of how they work. Annotations are also really important in this stage. So your literacy skills are involved where you start to delve deep into trying to discover how and why they use the materials that they've chosen. Assessment objective two is all about refinement. So this is how you start to refine your ideas, start to workshop with new medias and materials. Your first part of your course will be broken down into learning about different medias that you haven't used before. So this could be um, traditional materials, it could be um, model making materials, it could also involve some kind of CAD work as well, which is computer aided design. Assessment objective three is all about recording your intention. So we're looking at how you record through drawing, through photographs, your choice of secondary sources and how you use those, and also through observation. So this could be linking our ideas back to our artists that we looked at in AO1 and also start to plan and investigate for our final outcome. AO4 is all about your response to your project. So what have you come up with as your final conclusion to your topic? So this is gonna be a three dimensional outcome and it basically starts to pull everything together from the rest of the assessment objectives to produce your final piece. What can you do with a subject when you leave school? With the qualification being an art and design course, there are a lot of careers within the creative industry. Some of these are listed below, including doulas, graphic designers, bakers, photographers, costume designers, set designers, and the list goes on. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or would like some more information, please get in touch. My email was at the beginning. It's hill at wyvernacademy.org.